Hey, this is Jendel Overland. I'm Johnny, and today we're heading down to Mississauga, going down to the outdoor camping show. This is a lot like a home show, but for Overland. So stick around to the end of the video to see what I picked up today. This is Jendel Overland, brought to you by London, Ontario Jeeps. In part by Four City Dollar. And 67 designs. So uh, the nice thing with the flash is a couple things. The flash stove, this is our best selling. It's a water boiler, that's the same stove. It's the only one that has a monochromatic color change panel. So as the water comes to temperature, it actually changes color. So it actually helps you figure that out. But So once you boil your water, you chuck your coffee grounds in, um, and uh, chuck your coffee grounds in, and then with the, uh, with the uh, coffee press, you can assemble that. All the jet bowls have a hole through the lid. So your coffee press goes through and and then you just let your coffee let your coffee steep and once it's ready obviously you take your vessel off the stove but you press your coffee and you have french press coffee wow so and that would be a single cup of coffee a cup of coffee that's a two. liter Oh, the leader, okay. Yeah, yeah, so it depends on <laughs> how big your mug is. <laughs> that's what I will say, like, you know, four cups of coffee. No, it's not, that's two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. And what's this worth? Uh, the flash is one, so the show is tax included. Uh, 105, is that right? No, next one over. 147, 148. My memory retention is... You write this, this uh, booth down? Or? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so we get the camp cafe system. It's a four piece system. You got the coffee cone, goes into the coffee pot here. You brew and you just throw this on top for the coffee brew. When you're done, the cone goes in there, you fold the handle up, fold the handle up, it goes right into the kettle here. The kettle's kind of cool because it's got the flux ring, like the jet boil. So mm -hmm. you can put brew like, or kept boil like, Two and a half liters of water in like six minutes. It's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. 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 It's super, super convenient. It's a game changer if you're making group coffee. More than six people, it's going to change your life. Change your life. Yeah. And, and this you can put on on that other any burner. Any stove, yeah. Any yeah. burner there. Just like that. It's a flux ring, so it directs everything right into the right into the bottom of the. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And that's on here too, is it? Uh, that one's not. But this information's on the side here. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Wonderful, thank you so much. So this is this is my company. The company's name is J.A. Shane Cole. And we built it on the premise that there wasn't really anything that you can work and, and cook over a fire comfortably or use your cast iron items that you like to use. Right? So you get these cast iron Dutch ovens and skillets and stuff and you're like, oh, how do I use them over a fire without burning them or breaking them or taking the old seasoning away? So the principle is, is to be able to use this, it's super simple. We really tried to make it as, as less complicated as possible. So you drive the stake in the ground until it feels semi-firm, and then you put the foot right on the ground. These are adjustable, right, depending on your stability. And then you build your fire right on top of it. And once your fire's going and burnt down to a cooking, then you add your ring over the, over the uh, ground rod, and you have your choice of you can either grill with the, with the grill, the grill is designed to lock into the ring so you don't slide around. The, sit, the idea that you don't want to touch anything around the fire, it's not safe. Right. So the idea is that you don't have to worry about the grill moving or anything, it's just a matter of, of stirring and all that stuff. And then when you're done your grilling, you want to make some potatoes. 
you take your cast iron pan and it fits right in the stove. Okay, so now you got your, your vegetables, your stir fries and all that stuff. You can scrape, you can serve. And then with the, uh, you take your fire stick. That, you take your fire stick, because yeah, that's what everybody uses. You take fire, and you use it to loosen it. And you take your rod and you go in. And now you can swing it out of the way. You can sure, raise yeah. and lower it. You have full control of your cooking situation and you don't touch anything, right? So once that's done, you can take that off. You still got some more cooking to do. You take your grill and you put it off to the side. You turn it. Right? So you can put this now on top to keep it warm. You put your fire on this side, you can still grill some more. So it's kind of an all-in-one idea of how to manipulate your fire and to use all the ways that you want to cook over fire. You build it big so that it feeds families. There's a lot of items out there that have small and you know it's great for backpackers and hikers, but this is a family cooking item. This is what you can make food for everybody all at the same time. And then of course we have the accessories. We have an extension rod. If you don't have, if you need more height to hang your coffee pots and stuff, we also have the kettle rod that holds your Dutch ovens and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it kind of adds that versatility to be able to cook comfortably over the fire at anything you want, right? So that's the principle is to be able to take what you like to do. You're gonna have a fire anyway, so you might as well use it for cooking this way. And when you're done for the night, you just take the, take the ring off, stoke up the fire, and you got your fire for the night. That's amazing, yeah. And then it all packs down. It all packs down into that little box. Right that's there. right. So this is my personal box. This is a couple years of wear and tear on it. It's full of stuff, but everything fits inside the box. You got one here. On display everything I wanted everything to fit inside all the dirt all the grime fits inside actually we can see it right here yeah right? your grill stays on top so your grill is up high out of the way all your other items lay down on the bottom so all the dirt and all the stuff that's typical for this type of environment so your cooking surface stays all nice and clean and then you close the lid put it in your camper or put it in your truck that's it because everything's all encased and then recently we've added um, we came up with a backpack. Okay, a lot of people have asked for the backpack. So the idea behind the backpack is it's a military grade. It's an original like military type duffel bag. So mm -hmm. it's got the backpack straps and uh, inside the backpack is all the different pockets. So you have a pocket for your ground rod. You got a pocket for your grill. Everything stays out of the way and separated. Right. And then the big chunks of the metal, they stay low. So it creates a B or a, a, a triangle. So all, it, all the weight's low in your back so that you're able to you transmit it. Through. That'd be good for hiking, but I think this would be more along the lines that we'd want for yeah. like so a cottagers. Jeep Gladiator Overlander. So Yeah, that's exactly right. You just take your box, toss yeah. it in the kit, and there you go. Right? Yeah. yeah, for sure. That, and that's, honestly, that's the nuts and bolts of it. We just, we felt there's nothing really in our market for the next generation of cooking over the fire. And everybody's kind of a little apprehensive about cooking because it's kind of a hasn't been done for a long time but we wanted to make something to make it easy make it safe make it available for dads and kids to work together in the fire and to be able to just enjoy that flavor because right? mm -hmm. you know as well as i do something cooked over an open fire is way mm -hmm. better than mm -hmm. barbecue so yeah that's right and so we've enjoyed it for a couple years this is our uh, like I said, that's our personal kit and uh, it gets seasoned Right? There's been no markups. I just wiped it off. We had a fire on this the night before the show. We nice. just wiped her down and called it a day. So. Uh, you can lower this right down to... Yeah, so this is with our extension rod on it. So if you want to get over top of a fire pit or if you want to hang your Dutch ovens, this is kind of like the top of the line, all the accessories on. Mm -hmm. But the ground rod typically is here. Right? So you're, you've got plenty of room for a fire to cook on. And you know people with fires, they don't need monster fires to, to cook on. You just need a good bed of coals. But once the coals are done, and you swing it out of the way, then you have your fire, right? Right. Yeah. So this, like I say, this is just has the accessories on it to showcase what it's fully capable of doing. But as far as 99% of your cooking, just the ground run. So this is 306 stainless, food grade stainless steel. This is 302 stainless. These are 302 stainless. So anything that touches the ground, this thing is still. and everything mm -hmm. else that goes into the heat it gets seasoned over time as you use it and then at the end of the day you just wipe it down get all the char and stuff off and then you get a clean rag and you just wipe a light coating of vegetable oil on it next time you heat it up again it seasons it just like a cast iron iron wow cast iron pan yeah so 
Yeah, Very cool. The versatility, you know, cooking on the beach in the sand, the feet, like I say, they spread out. It just adds cooking over fire so much more easier. And this would complement each other, wouldn't it? They do. They really do. So mm. cooking over the fire, no wind, you control, you mitigate your wind, it's warm. And if it's if it's not safe, you can reach over the reflector to tend to your meal. So you're not actually over a fire, you're protected, the heat doesn't chew your legs. It uh, definitely works together nicely. Right. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. And you have some here today, right? We do. We do. We got what's called the uh, uh, Chuck Wagon edition. Right? Okay. It's typical, you like that nostalgia. And we have the wilderness package that comes with the backpack. We also have uh, just the kit. Just the steel kit. If nobody, if you just want it for your backyard or something for your cottage or something, by far you can just buy just the steel bits and you can ship it off in the box. And mm. uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I shall be back. So what's what's this one worth? That one there, the truck wagon, is four hundred. Four hundred. So okay. The custom made box numbered that I make. So mm -hmm. I make the box. This is made in Tilsonburg. And this is made in Stony Creek. It's all Ontario made by craftsmen, all locally sourced. All Canadian made. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, the the, the truck wagon is 400 for the show. The wilderness package is 292. That comes with the kit and it comes with the bag. And then of course the accessories to you know add on later, just on our website and we'll ship it to you. No worries about that. So everything that you see here is in this. Is That's in this right. Box. So you okay. got your grill. You get your accessory ring. You get your keys. Get right. your ground rod. Get the pot holder. You get the pot holder, well, the accessory ring, and you get the foot and the adjuster tool. Excellent. Yeah, you got to make your own stick, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can handle that. <laughs> no, the fun is you got your little kids and they start whittling the fire stick. Yeah. That's right. The uh, original fire reflector is a uh, handmade uh, guy in uh, BC by the name Mike Overhouse and um, he couldn't be at the show today but he did want me to let you know that the, uh, the fire reflector is um, uh, it's all handmade in Canada all assembled and put together by Mike it's varnished and finished in a way that it, you can open it up like a, a, a half round circle and it reflects the heat on the fire around you so that where you are, you're sitting in a parabolic circle and the heat just reflects back to you. So even if it's like a bit chilly at nighttime, inside this little circle that you're in, this little um, comfort zone, it really does make a difference on the heat and you feel so much more comfortable while you're sitting around the fire. It, re it, it reflects the wind away, so your smoke and your cooking and everything that you do around the fire, it allows you to do it, and then you don't get that same feeling that you get in other smoke mm -hmm. where the wind and, the, and takes the heat away. And the other thing is the, the reflective coating that they put on this reflector, it gives off that glow, right? So when you're in camp, turn your lights off, right? Just enjoy the fire glow, and it just lights up the whole campsite behind you. But if you're up and about going to get something, you don't need the flashlights or the blinding lights or nothing like that. It just makes the camping experience so much better. It does, it really does. And my family, we've had it for a couple of months now, a few months, and just throughout the summer last year, it was awesome. It was just That's a awesome. great addition to our camp kit. It really was. That's awesome. And you got some in stock today, do you? No, we do not. This is just a visual and an introduction to the East. He's never really been this far East, and mm. he's happy to be at the show. And this is just to get the feedback and to let people be aware that, you know, there are products out there that are made by locals and Canadians and they just want to be able to kind of get a feel for it. And if you're interested in it, go check Mike out at MC Ranch Overland mm -hmm. and he'd be happy to call and talk to you personally about it and you guys can work out the deal from there. And Perfect. I'm just here as a spokesperson just to say, this is a great product and I endorse it and I love it. It really does change the camping experience. Awesome, actually I was on his website last night as a matter of fact. Is that right? Yeah, right on. Yeah. yeah. And he is a nice guy to boot. That's worth it. Yeah, so what do you got here? That's uh, this is a patch. This is uh, he gave us these for the show. That's oh. his logo, and that's his company. Can I take that, put that on my Jeep? Yep, absolutely. Sweet. That's what it's for. Yeah, no worries about that. Awesome, nice. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Yeah, so what it is, it's the uh, back road uh, app. Uh, shows things like crown land, ATV, snowmobile trails. Right now, if we uh, zoom in here, we're at the uh, east side of Algonquin Park. The uh, dark green is uh, the parkland. The light green is all crown land. Uh, the purple areas will be restricted areas. The, uh, if we zoom in a little further here, you'll see the orange lines are ATV trails. Uh, purple is snowmobile. 
If we get into some of the lakes as well, you'll see things like uh, campsites, hiking paths. The yellow lines are all hiking uh, paths. It will show bathymetry in lakes as well. And then right down to these uh, block lines are all uh, logging roads or uh, forest service roads. You'll see some of the parcels, smaller parcels of crown land in these areas as well. And then, uh, you know, it's fully functional, has search functions, has offline map uh, capability as well. You can drop waypoints, you can track yourself out. Um, here we are, it still shows the city routes here at the International Center in Toronto. Um, create an offline map, you can name it. You can also include a satellite, the satellite layer if you like. But, um, you know, it, it's uh, not meant for city navigation. It's definitely more meant for backcountry exploration. All right, so if you um, zipped over to, say, Minden or something, you can show me some Jeep... Uh... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, bear with me a minute. Over to Minden? Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look here. Just type it in here. Alright, so here we are in the Minden area. Let's we'll zoom in a little further. It's uh, Lake Kawartha down below here. Uh, what we're looking at here are the uh, motorized trails. Um, let's get in a little further here. Uh, so all these block lines would be the uh, unpaved roads. So if you're looking for a little wheeling, that'll be the ones. Uh, still has the main roads and all the access, but all these block lines would be uh, unpaved roads. That'd be all for the wheeling. All for wheeling, exactly. So. Stay away from the yellow, those are hiking paths, you don't want to run anybody over. But these orange ones are actually uh, ATV trails, motorized trails, but you'll notice uh, these ones have the dotted lines on there. So those are kind of specific uh, motorized trails. Uh, some of them, uh, the ATV trails will over, uh, will uh, go over some of the solid lines, like in this area right here. You'll see that there is a logging road in that area as well, so sometimes they do overlap. But. If you're looking for places to wheel and such, this would be it. Uh, fully searched too, so you can look up certain areas. You can find campsites if you're looking to spend the night as well. But, okay. uh, but uh, that's what that is. Uh, uh, let's say um, Chilliwack, BC. Chilliwack, BC, fantastic. Yeah, are you from that from out there? No, nope, but I'm planning on going there. This nice. Year, that's so. uh, my neck of the woods. Where uh, our head office is actually in uh, Coquitlam, BC. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. So let's just zoom into. Uh, Chilliwack, I don't need to search far because I know exactly where she is. Yeah, I, I lived in Chilliwack Sardis like oh, 30 nice. years ago. Fantastic, yeah. We do a lot of quadding out in Chilliwack, Vetter Lake area. Uh, let this load up here. It does cache, so it does take a little while with all the layers on. We sure. do have all of our layers, kind of all of our layers going on here. We'll turn on the hunting and fishing, why not? And then we'll kind of get in here a little bit further. So again, same principles, uh, yellow is hiking. Uh, the uh, ATV trails you'll see here are in the orange color as well. And then um, now what we've added, the divisions and wildlife management units are in the green color. And right in down in Chilliwack, you'll have some fishing lakes. So if you wanted to, you know, take a, you know, take a chance at uh, some fish, it'll give you the species that are found, the stocking information as well. So this uh, is Canada wide. That's this is great. Canada wide, absolutely. Move out of Chilliwack a little bit to the west, uh, over towards Hope. Got some um, the Vetter River, stuff. exactly. So now you're getting into some trails, and these are now all the logging roads, all the wheeling roads are in there. Fully topographic, so you get an idea of the uh, the landscape as well. You can put it in a 3D mode as well, and uh, really get a better sense of what's going on there. But uh, yeah, it's fully featured, includes all of our data uh, from Newfoundland to Vancouver Island to none of it. It's all in there. Wonderful. And what is this app called? This app is the BRMB Maps app. It's a back row map books app. Uh, it's three dollars and fifty cents a month for all of Canada. Uh, we have specials on for thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars a year, or ninety dollars for three years. And uh, it uh, gives you all of our data for all of Canada. Okay. So sign me up for three years. Then. Fantastic. Yeah. If you like uh, this one here, is our uh, QR code. Uh, you can sign it up right there. Uh, it'll give you uh, uh, three years of access. What this does as well, that uh, we've included a web map for it as well, so you can actually log on on brmbmaps.com. Uh, create your account there, use your credentials, log in on the uh, smartphone or tablet, and then uh, from the web map, you can actually uh, you know, view the maps, drop waypoints. There's actually a, little bit, a few more features that aren't found on the app. Um, you can really customize your experience, you know, create trips, routes, that type of thing. So, Wonderful. Yeah.
Wonderful. Okay. And then what do we got here? So we also do in print. Uh, we've been around for 30 years. We do uh, uh, printed products across Canada. Okay. Uh, we have four books that covers the province of Ontario, two in the north, two in the south. It's all our data as well. Uh, and the front of the books are all maps. And then in the back of the book, you'll actually find all of our written information. So you okay. know, dozens of pages on fishing, including stocking information, um, uh, species. And then we do it for every adventure. So you'll have it for uh, hunting, for fishing, for paddling, for parks, right down to bird watching if you like. So uh, we kind of have a, you know, the, the one-stop shop for everything outdoors in Canada. That's amazing. So this will work really good on a tablet. Yes. And then you've got so we also do, uh, we're also licensed by Garmin. Uh, we do micro SD cards that include all of our data. It's plug and play with any Garmin device. So this one here is the latest, is the Garmin Shred. Yeah. Uh, it's a micro SD card that's simply just plugged into it and it integrates perfectly with the Garmin devices. Okay, yeah, see that, that makes more sense to me. And then will that hook up to like a 67 Designs mount? Yeah, so this one here actually comes with the mount. This is a new Garmin Shred. This is a an amazing unit. Uh, it comes with a suction mount uh, and a swivel mount uh, in the box. It also comes with the uh, power adapter for the cigarette lighter. So this one's virtually ready to go. Uh, this one here is uh, the Garmin Montana 750i with the inReach technology. The tread does have the inReach as well. These ones here you can actually get a power mount as well. They're kind of designed for ATVs and snowmobiles. So as you're riding the unit stays fully charged. If you take it off go for a hike you'll have a full battery in your company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because I just got the Garmin Mini. Yes. Mini Two. Yep. But I mean, that's more for. Uh, it's an SOS device. It's a right. communicator. It's a. It's a very good device. Uh, the inReach technology is incorporated with these uh, with these units as well. Uh, but you also get a device that has uh, all of our maps on it as well. Now I see that these have. These are separated by each province? They are, so we're limited by region on these. We do them for uh, uh, by province, so we have a trip for Ontario, one for Quebec. We also offer uh, by region, so we have this one here, it's Eastern Canada, it's Ontario, Quebec, and Atlantic Canada on one ship. And mm -hmm. then we also have Manitoba to British Columbia and the Western Canada chip, and then one for Northern Canada. So three chips would cover the entire country. Uh, yeah. Or you can go by province. And what are these worth? Uh, all of Ontario is regularly $150. The Eastern Canada there is usually $275. We have them on for $125 for uh, Ontario and $200 for Eastern Canada. Those are our trade show specials. Okay, and then what do you got for uh, Western Canada? Western Canada, Manitoba West, so Manitoba to British Columbia. Also $275. We also do them for $200 at the trade show. Not the show today. Taxes included, yeah. Taxes included. okay. okay. So 400 for pretty much all of Canada. Basically, yeah, for the provinces. Yes. Yeah. And got another hundred, you get northern Canada as well. So, so are these going to be? Um, can you update them in in, in the future? They are updatable. Yeah, we normally release an update every 12 months. Okay. Uh, we do offer uh, an 80 percent discount on the purchase price if you're going from one version to the next. So sure. Okay. If you want to go Ontario, you're looking at around 25 bucks yeah. for the latest so version. I, I was just saying for. Uh, after coming here, it's amazing how many occupations there are like this at all three. And how old do you think? He's two years. Two years. And that's five foot wingspan. How much? Five feet. Wow. Yeah, so we got the Dometic 75 liter here. This is the uh, previous generation, uh, not this new CFX3, but all same dimensions um, and very similar layout. So essentially you've got the smaller compartment over here, right? And this could, either compartment can be set up to be fridge or freezer or both. And then you got the second much deeper compartment on this side, right? And again, so this is the full 75 liter uh, dual zone CFX, which is the old model. The new CFX3 lineup, uh, which we have actually over there, is basically change the colors, improve the compressor, improve the installation, so you have better efficiencies. Uh, and they've also added uh, Bluetooth connectivity, so that you can have everything on your app on your phone and do a full control of the fridge from there. And you were saying that you've had this for three years. So this one I've had since 2018, since uh, spring of 2018. So four years. Been yeah. across everywhere in Canada. We've literally done Yukon, Dempster, all the way up to the Arctic Ocean, Alaska. Uh, and this has been sitting in the back of my canyon. 
exposed to everything. <laughs> with, nice. uh, I do mount a protective cover on it to help with the insulation. Um, and then otherwise, when it's not in the truck, it's running in the shop, plugged into the AC. All but, but no dust issues or? Yeah, and it's been fine. Like you can see, there's some dust sitting here, but it hasn't affected the performance of the fridge. That's excellent. And the new ones, they've actually improved the weather rating and the, res uh, the water and dust resistance on the new models. And these I can get through Red Bear. Yes, sir. That's right. It's awesome. redbearoutdoors.ca, and you've got uh, we have a whole page for just the medics, and anything we don't have in stock, we can get uh, online and order for you. Give us a shout. Perfect. So I did wind up getting three things when I was down at the outdoor show. One of the things that I shown that I thought was really interesting and that I really wanted is the BRMB Map Service app, which I think is really awesome. You got a lot of stuff that's out there for the United States, but not a whole lot that's just Canada. This being a Canadian made app, it's gonna come in really handy when I go across Canada this summer. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I think this is really going to come in handy. Let's look what else I got. So the first item I want to show you is the cooking ware by J.A. Shanko. I was really impressed by the whole presentation and the box that it came in is just incredible. Wayne let me know after I purchased this that I was the very first person to ever purchase one of these boxes, which is really cool. But look at the way this is all set up. I love how this the name is branded on both sides. It's numbered, each box is numbered. And check this out. The first fire zone off. That's so awesome. Just the little touches like that is just what makes it so, so awesome. So we got our grill and some paperwork in there that tells us how to use everything. And then of course you saw in, in his uh, presentation how to set all this up. But there you go. So I just had to have this. This is going to make for some really interesting meals out in the, in the wild this summer. And then what goes good with food is water. This I did not show you in the video, but this came from Red Bear. And this is from Lifesaver, and what it is, it's a water jerry can. And what you can do is you can go up to any creek, creek and uh, no matter how dirty the water is, it's got a filtration center in this, you pump the water and you can get yourself a nice clean water source. So, this is how you can pump it here. And then you just turn this, and it will open up for you. So, there's your filtration system there. It's good for up to 20,000 liters, I believe you said it was. And yeah, so, definitely something that I had to get when we were out there. Because if I ever run out of water, I can't be risking getting sick off of something that's on the land. And then we've got the an extra film in there. I do have a couple of other things that is on order. Actually, let's turn this around and go to my other Jeep.
I'll be getting the kitchen this week, and that's going to come out to about here. So then I have enough room here to put my fridge. I'm going to have a slide out that comes out to about here and then drops down. That's one thing that I ordered from Red Bear, but I'm also getting the fridge itself, which is the 7500, <coughs> which is the 75 liter Dometic. So those two items are coming in the future. I should probably have them within two, three weeks. I'm looking forward to it. So that is what I picked up. Thank you guys if you stuck with me to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll see you guys again next week. Take care. Thank you.